Yo, welcome back everybody, Pantheon tier, we finally did it. We jumped back on NBA Supercar January 1st. It only took us 18 days to move up, six or seven tiers we finally got up into that Pantheon tier. And most of it was due to the new game mode, Super Dynasty, have been having an absolute blast playing that. But in this video, of course, we're gonna look at our Pantheon tier freebie. We're gonna be looking at some other packs. My very first Super Dynasty as Pantheon are able to get those Pantheon Pros. We also got our very first Pantheon Pro. We're gonna talk about the, the new Lunar New Year Fusion as well for those people that have you know taken a closer look at it. But anyways, uh, there it is, uh, Pantheon tier from that Jackie Young. And again, I picked that up from the Super Dynasty, the guaranteed pros from uh, being able to finish first place for those final rewards. But jumping on to the draft board to get our Pantheon freebie. Now I'm just left with, I don't know, what else can I do except for get the Pantheon pros? We did get one, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, of course, from Super Dynasty. But uh, my luck, at least on this game, has certainly been pretty well. I mean, I think, you know, 18 days, six tiers. Here is our freebie, Nalissa Smith. Our string of WNBAs have been absolutely crazy. For Cyclone, I picked up five WNBAs in a row, including our freebie. And then we got another one for our Pantheon tier right there, another WNBA. Now here's our very first exclusive draft pick while being in Pantheon. Now, of course, being in Pantheon, you get Ignition, Cyclone, and Pantheon. And I absolutely have zero cards in almost all of them. Actually, I have quite a bit of pros in Ignition tier, just again from Super Dynasty. But as far as Cyclone goes and uh, Pantheon goes, really nothing. But there breaks our streak. George Gervin of the Cyclone, that breaks our streaks of six or seven WNBAs in a row. Now, of course, I waited to complete the team spirit until I got up to Pantheon. So this is our very first team spirit quest while being in that Pantheon tier. Now, out of everything in the game, all the different draft boards, all the different game modes, this is certainly the place in which I expect the least results out of all the times we've ever done Team Spirit Quest. Pulling the top tier, in my case at least, Pantheon tier in the top tier. Uh, pulling some of those is, you know, pretty much impossible. You'll go 10, 2, 3 months in a row and not pick up any. But either way, uh, there's our very first one as Pantheon. Two Ignitions, of course, Kyle Kuzma, Tobias Harris. And like I said, I pretty much credit all my success to Super Dynasty. And uh, this is our very first Super Dynasty as Pantheon, the final pack. Two guaranteed pros in the top three tiers, Ignition, Cyclone, and Pantheon. So uh, of course, you know, how am I gonna get my very first Pantheon Pro? It is going to be in Super Dynasty. So uh, Ignition, we got a Kyle Lowry Pro. We'll take it. And then our boy Anthony Hardaway, Penny Hardaway for our uh, Pantheon Pro, our very first Pantheon Pro. And I'm going to have to say that is an absolute damn good one. I absolutely love him, especially with him and Shaq back in the day. Oh. Bro, um, definitely a good pull for sure. And then, of course, I had to do the matches on my dude Penny Hardaway just to make sure that I had that Ignition Pro done for the video. And, uh, yeah, we jumped on, you know, got that done in some PvP, got our very first Ignition Pro. It's definitely a fantastic pull. I don't know where any of the rankings are for any of the tiers. But I would just assume that his is probably pretty decent. I mean, I would say top 15, at least top 20, I hope anyway. Hopefully they don't do my boy dirty like that. But anyways, uh, over 10,000 for base tier cards, really not too bad. So I'm certainly happy with the last couple days and uh, last couple weeks, actually only 18 days to get to Pantheon. So that is what the deck currently looks like now, but I will have to say that I think NBA Supercard was being a little bit generous with the stats. You know, going into Pantheon tier, when we finally made Pantheon tier, we only had five Ignition Pros and one Torrent Pro. We didn't have a single Cyclone Pro 
and still made Pantheon tier. Now, granted, two of those Ignition Pros were New Year's special cards, and we also did have four Momentums on there. So, of course, both of those helped quite a bit, but it is kind of weird to make Pantheon tier and not have a single Pro in the tier below it. But now, I mean, we can't say that because of course now we do have our very first Pantheon Pro. Now let's jump into the Lunar New Year Fusions real quick, talk about this for a little bit, kind of update our thoughts on this Fusion event. Now we made a video a couple days ago and I did kind of suggest that it might be a good idea for newer players to be able to jump on here and grind through this. And honestly, you cannot. Lunar New Year's, at least as far as the Pantheon Pros, it would be extremely difficult for newer players to jump on. And the reason for that is, is that being that the Pantheon Pros require so many Cyclones, each one of these Cyclone Fusions takes one Breakout Pro and one Street Pro. Now, while I kind of have a workaround for that for newer players, I still think if you are somewhat of a newer player, I think your way to go is just to get these Cyclones. Now, if you don't have any breakouts or street pros, it could be a little problem, but I'm going to tell you how you might be able to do it if you're willing to do it, because I still think you can. If not, I mean, you can do these the only bad thing with this is this is based on your top eight. And so if you are lower tiered, I would honestly, you know, doing these might not be that great if it's based on your only tier. So this is what I'm thinking. If you are somewhat of a newer player, I would assume that Trophy Chase is still available. Now, when we jumped on 18 days ago at the beginning of January, we played Trophy Chase quite a bit and all the way up into eventually where we maxed out at level 72. As as far as I can get right now, I need a breakout Indiana Pacer to be able to move on. Can't get one yet. So, but either way, point being was, is that you were able to acquire a bunch of super coins, an absolute bunch of super coins. And if I look at my stock right here, I have 31,000 super coins. When I started back in January, I only had like 3,000. Okay. So in three weeks, I have made 28,000 or so super coins, not only from PVP, but from Trophy Chase. Now, in this particular fusion, you do have a means to, you know, complete it. And all the way down here at the bottom, which is very nice, you can buy Breakout Pros for 450 super coins. Now, if you don't have any Breakout Pros, you don't have any Street Pros, you are lower tiered, for 900 super coins, you can complete one of these fusions. If you do the trophy chase, you can easily get enough super coins to do probably two, three, or four cyclones, no problem, and not even waste all of your super coins. So if you are lower tier, I would certainly look into this. I think that, you know, if you're able to maybe for a couple thousand super coins, be able to get a Cyclone Pro with lower tier players, I, I, I think that's probably worth it for sure. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do as well, at least at the start for the next week or so. I'm probably going to just accumulate as many Cyclones that I can possibly get and then consider and think about whether I want to do Ignition or not. I think if one of these pros should be around the same stats as maybe a Pantheon base tier pro, I'm hoping. So that's what I'm going to do personally. I've actually bought a couple breakout pros from the Superstore to help me do this. So I think it's worth it. I mean, a breakout pro in the Superstore is 13,000 super coins. And so you can get one just by buying the breakout pros for much cheaper than that. Either way though, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Pantheon tier, here we are. And now it's just trying to get ready for that next tier whenever it drops. Hopefully we can get our deck up to be in that next tier really soon. I will see y'all next time. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Y'all take it easy. We're out. Peace.